over the years, the Adler has built its reputation as being one of the leading planetaria and space science centers in the world by taking on innovative projects. Uh, some of these projects are in our uh, theaters, others are in our exhibit galleries, some are educational programs. Uh, most of those involve a fairly low level of risk, but every once in a while, we like to take on a, a very high risk project, not knowing exactly how it will turn out. Uh, and an example of one of those is this alien beacon project that Patrick and Lou proposed. And uh, we didn't even think he was going to read it, <laughs> and he approved it. <laughs> We're the shock. Yeah. So we took all the parts outside uh, IT, all the junk, um, and made a mock-up model of the beacon, built it, put it on the beach, turned it on, and it worked. Worked a little too well. Yeah. One of the problems with repairing a spaceship is you've got to find a space large enough to do it, you've got to hide it, and it has to be in close proximity to the incident. Um, the only place that was available was the Adler's Sky Theater underneath our dome. So we created a theater renovation project, shut it down, and brought the spaceship inside so that we could affect the repairs. Um, when we're done, we will put a new theater in there, just so it looks like nothing ever happened. But uh, right now, it's actually a repair shop for an interstellar cruiser. One of the things we do in this lab is work to build the world's most accurate three-dimensional model of our galaxy. Now this put me in a unique position to help our wayward travelers. It turns out that when we got their computer systems back online and started to pull data off of their navigation servers, that data was terribly corrupted. Much of the map was missing. However, combining their remaining data with our data set, cross-correlating the two and rectifying them, that enabled me to both identify their homeworld and to chart a navigation course on the way back home. So as soon as the tachyon drives are finished, they should be able to follow that course and, I hope, have a very successful journey back to their home world. Repairing a disabled spacecraft is a learn-as-you-go project. There was a lot of damage sustained, and we have to take a look at what that damage was and then figure out how to repair it. We're not building a new spacecraft from scratch. But we think we're very close, and in just a short period of time, should have all of the repairs in place ready to go. Well, these three objects are all that we have left from our alien visitors, and uh, we're not sure exactly what these uh, charred uh, objects are, but we are accessioning them into our history collection here at the Adler. I can't touch uh, either of these two. We're still doing research on those, but this one uh, uh, is an interesting one. We're, we're not quite sure exactly what it is. Whoa. Well, you know, things happen. They don't always turn out the way you'd like them to, but you've got to move on, and we've certainly done that here at the Adler. We're transforming our Sky Theater, 
and to a very high-tech theater, and we're working on the uh, opening premiere show for that, and we invite you to come and see it. And Oh, and by the way, Patrick and Lou have refined their proposal and are now starting on a, a new phase of the Alien Beacon, and, and uh, we think they may be back, so come visit us and see what's going on.